up, kids and cats? The Blues Bastard here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to burn down the house. I'm going to tell you, this is a, you know, a, a lesson with a three super cool, super fast speed licks that anyone can play. So if you like what you just heard in the beginning, you know, uh, stick to the channel, stick to the video and uh, watch it till the end so you can see how easy it is uh, to play these licks. So let's calm down a little bit and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, get serious. Uh, first of all, if you like it, obviously, you know, gently hit the subscribe button or the like button or both in the best case. And uh, if you want to support my band, there's some, uh, you know, some links down there in the, in the description if you want to listen to some other cool music. So, um, you know, as promised, there are three super cool, uh, really fast licks that, in my opinion, anyone can play them. You know, if you're a beginner, if you're an intermediate, uh, you will really, really easy uh, get these down and, you know, learn them. And uh, obviously, you know, uh, in a short time, play them um, better than I do right here. So let's dive right into lick number one, which is the one that I uh, played first in the intro solo. Let's just look at it quickly, how, the way I played it, and then I'm going to break it down for you. Okay, let's look at lick number one, which is uh, very, very simple. By the way, we're in the key of E. So uh, E minor pentatonic, uh, you know, is the base of this lick, although we have different notes that are not in the E minor pentatonic. But never mind the theory, we don't need that. It just needs to be sound, sounding cool, and in this case, fast. And that's that's definitely, you know, you know going to hit the spot. So... The lick itself is very simple. We just use two strings. It's the B string and the G string. And once you have the uh, B string, you put your middle uh, middle finger on the D, which is on the third fret of the G string, uh, B string, sorry. And then your index finger on the second fret, a C sharp, also on the B string. Once you have this, you just pick the first note D. And then you pull off these two notes to the B. By the way, rhythmically, we play 16 note triplets for all these three licks. No matter what tempo you play, whether you start off with a slow tempo, but always 16 note triplets, which means it's six notes per one beat. So it's like three, four. Slowly would be three, four. So it's almost harder to play it slow than fast, you will see. Anyway, once you have the B, the B string covered with like playing the middle finger and pulling off to the first finger in the second fret, pulling off to the open B, you just repeat the very same thing on the G string. So middle finger here, third fret G string, first finger placed already in the second fret, then pulling off. And all together it sounds like this. So, you actually should learn this by, you know, uh, playing playing it slowly and make sure that you're synchronized with your with your whether you pick the middle finger. This will be a starting tempo, obviously, to start off with and, you know, gradually increase the tempo once you're fine with it. And what is cool is also, like, if you damp the strings, if you, like, put your palm here on the strings just to damp them a little bit to, to take away the sustain, then it sounds really percussive. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't really, you know, sound so proper, uh, but, uh, you know, trying my best. Anyway, this was lick number one. Hope you like this one. Let's jump into number two. Okay, number two is, uh, as I said before, in the same key, same rhythm pattern. It's uh, even easier than the first one. The number two looks like this. So all you got to do is like to play the B string open, hammer on to the D, 
in the first uh, in the third fret of the B string, pull off and play the open E string. So this is the whole pattern you have to do. Uh, sorry, of course. Once you play the open E string, uh, you go back down, hammer on to the D, and pull off again. So it's like. And I don't pick the one D that I hammer on after I picked the uh, after I picked the high E string. Once you play it fast, it doesn't you know it doesn't you don't need to pick this because it sounds like this. So the move of the right hand is extremely easy. It's like. And the other hand here, the left hand, just middle finger, just hammering on and pulling off here. Pull, pick, hammer on, pull off, pick, hammer on, pull off. That's it. Six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that was number two. You know, have fun practicing it. Same thing here. Start slowly. Sorry. Make sure it's really round. I know I don't play it so, so, um, you know, so clean right now. Uh, you know, you will find out how to play it to play it really really cool so let's jump into number three here we go okay back with number three this is uh you know spectacular it sounds spectacular and it looks spectacular but it's uh, extremely extremely simple here we play with the open b and e strings and what we do simply is now this is now a completely just E minor pentatonic so we hammer on so we play the uh, B string first sorry we hammer on with our index finger into the third fret of the D uh, B string after that we immediately hammer on with the ring finger to the E which is in the on the fifth fret of the B string and then we repeat this exactly same pattern on the E string so it's like E also here the same thing 16th note triplets per beat six notes three four And uh, even here, you can like, uh, you know, put your palm down and make it, uh, you know, sound more percussive, something like this. Anyway, those are the three super fast and extremely easy licks that anyone can play. Uh, if you want to make them sound even fancier, kick in the wah-wah. Then they sound obviously, you know, the way they sounded in the solo. Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, hit the like button if you didn't do it yet. Uh, subscribe if you didn't do it yet. And, uh, you know, support my band. There are some really cool links below in the box. See you next time. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.